Hi guys, it's me, Subin Aesthetic, and today I'm going to be doing a video talking about moments in K-Tube that shook me to my core, that just really made me question who's running these channels. So yeah, let's get started on that. Lane, boo, tomato, 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 I'm throwing So first things first, I think we need to get the big one out of the way. Um, K-pop YouTubers, I dislike that trend, that whole ugly ordeal. And you see, it's a problem because, listen, 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 listen. The only YouTubers who can do these videos are ones who are in a bigger demographic of YouTube. Like, except for beauty YouTubers. Beauty YouTubers can say all they want because they get into drama all the time. But like, if you had a YouTuber talking about YouTubers that they don't like or that they, you know, don't vibe with, like usually it's like youtubers that you could um you could never imagine them crossing paths or if they do cross paths it will never turn into this huge drama so i'm not understanding why ktubers thought this was a good trend to do like i love some of y'all some of y'all are great ktubers outside of those videos but like some of you were asking for hate mobs and for stuff like that. Now, I don't wanna blame you, but like, come on. This is a very niche YouTube community of people. Like, there aren't a lot of big K-tubers, so like, if you're talking about them and you're another big K-tuber, it's very likely that person will hear what was said. And I'm not lying, some of the things you guys said were facts, like they were true facts. But, 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 this is, basically think of K2 as a business. And sometimes in business, you need to put a smile for people you don't like. Why? Because, because we don't need conflict in something like this. Like, I'm not gonna say it's just K-pop because this is not K-pop, it's people. And, you know, we should have the decency as YouTubers to not go after other YouTubers if they haven't done anything specifically to you. Unless a K-tuber has truly gone after you, I think you have the right to defend yourself. Defend yourself, do that. But, I mean, some of you guys were making these k-pop youtubers i dislike and you were going after youtubers who did nothing to you and then you were surprised when they got angry like make it make sense connect the dots oh my god corny <laughs> lame boo tomato 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 I'm throwing okay here's the problem here's the problem with these videos actually let me not talk about the problem first here is a reason why I can see why people thought that talking about why you understand BTS or Blackpink was a good idea. If your channel is centered around K-pop and you are known for liking a certain group, then if you don't like the group anymore, I guess you'd go online and you'd say, hey guys, I'm not really supporting this group anymore. I'm not doing anything with this group. Like tomorrow, if I stopped liking TXT, sadly, I have to tell you guys because I know that like some people probably are subscribed to me or like me because I like TXT or because I like Twice. Same goes for any other K-pop YouTuber, say Everglow Up. If Everglow Up one day unstand Everglow, which I don't think will ever happen, like i feel like maybe she'd tell you guys or she'd like really separate her channel from everglow because like your audience you kind of need to, you you need to tell your audience this stuff so they're not questioning like what's going on why aren't you talking about this group blah, 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 blah. but 
beside that point, the reason why this trend went so bad is because people weren't just saying, oh, I don't like this group anymore. People were making 30 minute videos and hour long videos about why they unstand these groups. Like, Nigga, we do not care. We don't care that much. We do. We, <laughs> who are you? Like, we don't need that long of a video as to why you don't like a group anymore. We get it. You don't like them. That is fine. You don't need to go on whole rants and lecture fandoms and blah, 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 blah. Like, no one wants to hear it. No one really cares to hear it. Can we have discussions about this stuff? Yeah. But, like... A lot of the times you could tell that some of these K-tubers intent wasn't to start a discussion among fandom, but to drag a group one last time before they distance themselves from the group and the fandom. And in my opinion, that's kind of sick and really weird. And I can see now why a lot of fans of that group were a little upset by these videos because no one wants to see our tons of hour long 30 minute videos talking like why I hate this group, why it sucks. Oh, and also the worst part would be when they say, and you should too. Excuse me, I'll do what I want. And yeah. It was just a really weird, messy trend, and I'm happy that we have moved away from it and that people see the flaw in it now because whew it was bad it was very very bad oh my god corny <laughs> lame boo tomato 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 throwing t- this one honestly ties into the last k-pop youtube era that i just talked about and it ties in because this was like a reason for some reason why a lot of people say they unstand Blackpink. Ugh. The videos, the analysis, the things that were stated about Jenny during 2018 to 2019. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not Are you not upset with yourself? K-tubers who talked about this like I'm sorry but some of you guys should be holding your heads down for how much you tormented this girl how much you made this girl like seem to be this evil lazy ungrateful girl That is what you made Jenny out to be. And you made video upon video upon video. Jenny being spoiled. Jenny having an RBF. Jenny uh, being lazy for 10 minutes. Jenny being a, a bitch for 30 minutes straight. Like, excuse me? Do you know Jenny? Are you personally there with her throughout the day? Do you know her? Are you her best friend? Are you? No? Oh, then why were you talking about her? Why were you making videos about her? Um, talking like she is the worst person on the planet. Mm hmm. No, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know why. Yeah, we don't know why because you were making assumptions, you were being mean, and you were basically, uh, forcing not forcing, but telling uh, all of K-pop YouTube that this is the truth about Jenny, blah, 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 blah. And of course, uh, it's a K-pop YouTube, it's any YouTube audience uh, responsibility to sometimes look at what K-tubers post and look at it through, you know, non-rose lenses and actually, like, know what is true and what is facts but you also have to remember you're a k-tuber you have responsibility to put something out on your platform that isn't fake and that won't mislead people because even if you make a video and it gets 300 views 150 of those people could be misinformed if you make your video that misinformed so i really don't know why we were making these videos about jenny I shouldn't say me. I wasn't a part of the K-pop YouTube sphere yet, but I saw it all. And 
I didn't fall for it, but I didn't think about it. And like it's but it's still it's still there. And it's really sickening because knowing now what Jenny was actually going through, it's just wah. Like we didn't even have to know Jenny had a leg injury. It's still weird, gross, and weirdly misogynistic that people were going after this girl and calling her lazy, saying she was sleeping with YG, making jokes about her constantly on YouTube, getting millions of views, getting more likes than dislikes. That is crazy. And I will never let anyone forget about that moment in K-pop. I don't think we should because it's very important to remember these ugly moments so that we never repeat it again. Oh my God, corny, <laughs> lame, boo, tomato, 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 I'm throwing The thing is, this vi this type of video, it it's not happening as much because there's nothing going on right now. But I'm telling you, the second there is another rumor about an idol being a bully among their group, they'll come back. Blah, 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 bullying their group for 10 minutes. Trigger warning, hard to watch. Whatever, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <sighs> like, come on now. Come on now. I said it in uh, my video from like a month ago, talking about things that K-pop stands say that is just so dumb and stupid, but is not at this point, the K-tubers, they're not just saying it, they're making videos about it. And they're always wrong. Like, oh my goodness. This person bullying their group for seven minutes straight. And then it's like looks. It's looks. And they're not smiling at each other. Oh my God. I didn't smile at my friend. I must be tormenting them or they must be tormenting me. The horror. Like, come on now. Come on now. We need to get smarter, K-tubers. Like, you can't make videos like that and then backtrack after it comes out that you were wrong. Like, some of you are making these videos, making hella bank, and then when you find out you're wrong, you leave these videos up, take out the comment section because, you know, they're telling you off, and then say like, oh, well, it should, it needs to be there, but why though? It shouldn't have been posted in the first place. Hmm. And it's not just big K-tubers doing it. It's small K-tubers doing it because they know they can earn a quick thousand views by doing it. Like, don't do that. Make a good video about your opinions or something. Don't make these clickbaity videos. Don't make videos where you take nothing and turn it into something. Because it's dumb, it's really cheap, and it's super cringe. Like, do better. Do better. Because that's not, no. The people who do that, again, they should be ashamed of themselves. Because they are being cheap, they are being lousy with their YouTube channel. And I don't really have respect for them because of that. Oh my God, corny, <laughs> lame, boo, tomato, 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 I'm throwing Okay, so now I'm just going to go through some of the trends that you guys don't like that you posted on my community tab. The first one is from Revel of Haru, who says, personally, I don't like the dozen trend or the idol that shouldn't have debuted trend. And then people try to backtrack and say, oh, it's just satire because sometimes not everyone, myself included, don't know if they're using satire or not. Rosie Wishes says, I personally hate those really clickbaity videos with something unnecessarily rude on it. Like, I don't really care what idols you think should leave the group. When sometimes, when someone finishes your video, 
you probably didn't make them happier, you just upset fans and idols for views. Missed Off Crows says, I don't know if it's a trend, but the idols that shouldn't have debuted, it's just very disrespectful, and even when the video is pure sarcasm, I don't find it that funny. Also, the whole idols insecurities or idols or insecurities idols might share with you is very weird, mainly because they're overanalyzing idols' bodies and making assumptions about how idols feel about them. Like, how are you so sure this girl gives a shit about her hip dips? And why are you paying so much attention to her hips? Go Angel says, it's the creepy K-pop theory shorts. It's just a no for me. Anne is not here says, this is just the side of K-Tube I don't like, is the wondering what the idols got work on. Personally, I don't care for it. Overall, I withstand most trends and concepts. Fairy Soyeon says, I hate shorts channels when they make videos about really sensitive topics and then put like a twice song in the background. It's just really weird and sort of seems disrespectful to the idol. Jenny Crush says, I don't like K-pop shorts, lol. <laughs> Johnny's Left Leg says, the video's about plastic surgery and stuff because it, all it does is cause fights and denial. The K-Tubers I Hate Trend says, Sunny Jisung, 99% of the time, they're saying nothing and bring up no valid points as to why someone should think twice about standing a K-Tuber. Of course, there are problematic K-Tubers, but during the time of the trend, it seemed like the most problematic ones were the ones going off mostly just to send hate. Overall, I think everyone agrees that a lot of the videos people don't like are ones where K-Tubers are unnecessarily negative for no reason, and I think that is the biggest outlier with all of these trends that I talked about. It's that no one likes watching a 10 minute video and no one likes that there are 10 minute videos, 12 minute videos, whatever, about people just hating on other people. And yes, some people, some K-tubers are good at giving constructive criticism, but I feel like over the past few, two, three years, K-tube has been very skewed and people are now trying to say, they're trying to figure out how mean can I be and still get the views and if they have the subscribers still get the money. And I feel like that's just something that's super weird and very ungenuine. And I feel like in order for us to, you know, actually understand why people are making this, we have to get down to what do the viewers watch the votes? Because I can advocate that this is a two-way street. While I am here to dunk on K-Tubers, I'll be very honest. Um, I've made videos that tie into each other and one's negative and one's positive, And the negative video has gotten more attention than the positive one. Why? People love negativity. People love to watch negativity whether it makes them sad or angry. Not everyone's like that, but a vast majority of people on the internet, especially because people are young, and when you're young, you crave drama, love negativity. And that becomes a problem because uh, we love and we crave negativity, but the people who push it out to us, sometimes they just push it out and they never know when is it enough. So I feel like there's two sides to the coin on how to fix this. One, K-tubers need to think twice about what they post. And if they're being negative just to be negative, or if they're truly saying their opinion in a way that is at least decent and respectful. Because you don't have to be mean to talk about music that you don't like. Second of all, we need to have a discussion as the K-Tube watchers as to what we want to watch. If you want more positive videos, if you want less videos that talk about idols' hips and stuff like that, we need to stop watching them. You need, we need to flat out stop watching them. There are trends that happen in K-Tube that 
we probably don't even remember because they didn't get a lot of views because people didn't watch it and they've just they're gone no one talks about them anymore and i think that's what we need to do we need to come to that consensus and come to that rule that if we see these negative videos that are very bad we shouldn't give them the attention that they want because people say they don't want these negative videos online but they keep watching them thank you guys for watching my long kind of ranty video about basically things that annoy me trends that annoyed me trends that i am ashamed of from ktube do well in whatever you're doing right now like comment share subscribe if you want to you don't have to and stay sunny